Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. It's been a while that iOS 17.5 beta 1 is out and actually it's been more than 5 days and I'm using it since. And in this video, I'm going to talk about battery life and Geekman score after using it for more than 5 days. Also, I will talk about when we can expect to see the iOS 17.5 beta 2 and also I want to talk about some of the charging tips that you can follow to get amazing battery life. Although I will make another detailed video about the charging tips. So this is going to be just a small glimpse of that video. So let's begin and let's talk about iOS 17.5 beta 1 battery life after using it for 5 days. So going into settings then going to the battery section let the battery stats load over here last 10 days over here as you can see my usage is quite decent from last couple of days if i go to this day as you can see i used my phone for around 90 to 95 percent according to this graph and over here as you can see the screen on time is 7 hours 18 minute which is not really good it's not the best if i go you show you another day so you can have an idea and you can compare those scores if I go over here this day, as you can see, I used around 85 to 90% of my battery life and screen on time was 8 hours and 23 minutes. Although I did play PUBG Mobile and COD Warzone. Over here, the battery life is quite better than the, this one. Even I wasn't playing any game at all on this day. So yeah, battery life is going up and down. Sometimes it is good, sometimes it is bad. But on the average, I'm getting more than 7 hours of screen on time. If I show you another day, for example, this day, as you can see, I use for around again 85 to maybe 80 to 85 percent, as you can see, and screen on time is eight hours and 32 minutes. And these were some of the applications that I was using. So again, sometimes battery life is really good and sometimes it is not giving the best. So battery life is something like this, but it's a decent one. You can easily get more than seven hours of screen on time on the iPhone 14 running iOS 17.5 beta 1. So I have no issues with the battery life so far. Now let's talk about Geekman score and a bit about the performance. Now here are some of the surprises. So going into the Geekman score over here, as you can see, I ran this score today. And as you can see, 2297 on a single core, 5518 on a multi-core, again running iOS 17.5 beta 1. Well, this is quite a low score. This is a bit disappointed, honestly. Well, why? Well, going back and showing you the, the same iOS version 17.5 beta 1 and over here, scores are quite different. 2318 on a single go, 5734 on a multi go. So scores were a bit better like a couple of days ago, but today it wasn't really good. So yeah, a little bit disappointed in the Geekman score. Although I haven't seen any performance issue I'm using it, I haven't seen any issue, any lag, any bug, nothing is up, everything is going really fine. Now let's talk about when we can expect to see the iOS 17.5 beta 2. If Apple is on a single week uh, cycle, then definitely we are going to see the beta 2 this week. It will be maybe around these days on 8th April, maybe 9th April or maybe 10th April. Most probably we are going to see on 9th or 10th April if Apple is working on a uh, single week cycle. But if Apple is thinking to go for a double week cycle, for a two week cycle, then definitely we're going to see this next week around 16th or 17th April as you can see. But let's see, definitely I will make video on this channel for you guys. Also, I want to talk about a couple of charging tips that you can apply to get really good battery life. Well, always try to keep your phone around 20 to 80 percent. If your phone is around 20%, just plug in and charge it. Never let it go below 20% because, because that could be very harmful for the batteries. Also, it's, it is considered a very good practice if you kept it uh, uh, under 80%. Although you can go uh, more than 80% if you're like going out or something. But if you're staying home, your usage is, well, you know your usage. So you can keep it under 80%. Well, whenever it reaches 80%, just plug out the charger. That's a best practice uh, you can apply for a bet getting a much better battery life. I will make a detailed video about in which I will talk about a detailed charging tips very soon, maybe this week, hopefully. So make sure to subscribe the channel for that too. 
Well, that's it from this video. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give this video a big thumbs up. Do like and share this video. Subscribe to my channel. And let me know in the comment section below which iOS version you are using. Also, let me know that how you are enjoying your device and what version you are using. All the details you can put in the comment section below. I am here to answer. See you in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.